suddenly there is an entire new notebook in my Evernote with several notes, tags, and a rough plan on how to organize this. I wish I had recorded the process, but I didn't. And by the way, this is just a couple of days of work. There are 16 notes in this notebook, but check this. Let's right click here and add date created. Did you know you could do that? <laughs> okay, half of the notes I created on the 30th and the other half yesterday. I already have several tags here. I'm using reminders to pin the notes. These are two notes I'm constantly adding to and are two notes that I'm sure I'll be checking a lot in the future. When I first started this channel, I had something different in mind for the videos. My plan was to show my process, my everyday use of Evernote to inspire you. Unfortunately, I quickly realized that this was not so easy. First, because I have a lot of personal information in Evernote and because Evernote is my go-to for most of the things and when I remember to capture, I have already built a lot like I showed you. This leaves us with only one option. I'll go back to the computer and show you how and why I created that notebook, the notes, the tags and the reminders. Let's go. As it usually happens, when I created this notebook, I didn't know how I would organize it. One thing I knew for sure, it would be a new notebook. Think of it as a sandbox where I can try ideas, experiment without making a mess in a more established notebook, like say my knowledge base notebook. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know that I purchased an Apple IIe, a computer from the 80s. This was the first computer I ever owned. Yes, <laughs> I did it. I plan to restore it and there's a lot I have to learn. I forgot everything about this system. There's an entire new economy around this vintage computers. Anyway, there's a lot to learn and that's why the notebook makes sense. And the name that first came to my mind was Apple IIe. As you already know, I have my notes ordered by creation date. The first note in this notebook is the auction. These are some prints I took from the eBay page. And I also have here a link to the page with the shipment updates. It's basically uh, the page that opens with the tracking number. The first note in the list, that is the last note I created, is just an article. So let's take a look at the tags. There's a lot that I don't know why and if it will still be like this in the future. But the idea here is exactly that. I, I, I want to show you how a notebook is born and how it evolved. For example, I have here the tag Apple II. I don't know if this even makes sense because Apple II is the line of computers. The one I bought is the Apple IIe. I don't know if, if I need this tag, but if in the future I figure out that this is a tag that I'm not using, I can delete it, no problem. But one thing I know I will spend time on is the power supply unit. This is what PSU means. I'll have to repair this parts here. These are the specifications. I got it from a website that is linked here. And I also have a YouTube video explaining how to do it. Here's a tip for you. You already know that we can filter things using the filter. <laughs> But did you know if you click here on a tag, you can filter by this tag? Here we have it. So this is the note I, I was showing you. This other note here is the, the parts I ordered. Something tells me I'll soon have other notes with this tag. For example, every time I'm fixing something, especially if it is something that I cannot see inside, I take pictures of the before and after. And this is for sure what's gonna happen. I'll fix it, take pictures and save them here with the tag PSU. There are so many tags here that work in a similar way. For example, display. Here we have a picture that uh, it's a print screen from this video. It explains how to switch between 
color and monochrome video output. <laughs> it's amazing how computers evolved. For those of you that don't know, you can draw over images or add some marks like this arrows. Just click the image, then the pencil, and now you have all these options here. I can add another arrow here or a little box. Save this. And of course, you can remove this. And this is what I'm going to do because this doesn't make any sense here in my note. Save it. Now it's gone. Here we have disk drive. Here we have hard drive. There's another one here about keyboards. This is another thing I learned. These are codes. My computer is coming from Germany, so the code is D, F is for France, P, UK, and T, Italy. I don't even know if I'll ever need this keyboard codes for anything, maybe, I don't know, maybe someday I'll buy another computer like this and knowing this information will make things easier. What I know is that it is something I learned and I want that knowledge to be stored in Evernote in a way that I can find it in the future. It's a keyboard, that's why it has the keyboard tag and it's about the Apple II, that's why it has the Apple II tag. I love how I can do this in Evernote without creating a thing within a thing, a folder, subfolder, nesting things. All I have to do is create a note, write something, clip, copy, whatever, it's all here. And the tags keep all the topics that are similar together. I can always filter by tags. It's so simple yet so powerful. Okay, let's take a look at the reminders. What I have here are two notes. This is the one with the keyboard shortcuts. Every time I'm watching a video or reading something and I come across a keyboard shortcut, I'm writing it here. This other one is for resources like this website that has all the games, all the software I'll need to use the computer. I use reminders here as a way to pin the notes. If you set a reminder to a note, let's do it here. I have the option to select a date and time, or I can use this note date option, add the reminder. And now this note has this little bell here, the icon here, and it's also in this list so it's easier to get to that note. I'm also collecting manuals because I'm sure I'll need them. By the way, remember the arrows on that image? You can do the same on a PDF. Just click the pencil again. We have all the options to also mark a PDF. And here's an example of a tag that can be used in a single notebook or across Evernote. This is a tag I have in my Evernote for a long, long time. Let's say I want to see all the manuals that I have in this notebook, the Apple II notebook. I can use the filter, select manuals. Of course, we have only one here, but if we use that tip I showed you before, remember that we can select all the notes with a tag from here. So filter by tag all the manuals I have in my Evernote. This was the last one I clipped, but here's another one from Ikea. Here's the microphone I use and so on. That's an airplane. Great place to have a studio. The airport is like five, 10 minutes from here. Oh, don't tell anyone, but for the first time you are seeing my real Evernote account. This is not my test account. This is my real account, real notes. These manuals are real. I also have the Apple IIe notebook as a shortcut because it's something I'll be using a lot from now on. If you have already watched other of my videos where I talk about my knowledge base notebook or any kind of learning in Evernote, you are thinking this is too simple, too basic. And it is, but it's the way it always starts. I create a new notebook, I collect information, all sorts of information, and my only concern is to use the right tags, not that they are right forever, but right for that moment, tags that will connect that knowledge. And if I already have tags 
in my Evernote that I can use in this new notebook and this new learning process, I'll use them like the manual tag. Remember one of the first videos here of the channel? I call them neuron tags because they connect my knowledge across Evernote. I love the idea of sharing with you the way I use Evernote. I believe it can inspire you, can help you create your own system. I even have a playlist called Evernote in my life. But videos like this, they usually don't do very well. So please let me know in the comments below if you want more videos about Evernote in my life. See you soon.